What happens when you combine Minecraft with mods that make it more like Skyrim? What I mean is more heavily leaning into fantasy. Wait, didn't we already do this? Salutations, my name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome back to, if you didn't watch the last part, you won't understand this one, go watch it now, link in the description. Also known as Rad 200 Days. Last warning, spoilers be ahead. Now, we've got three goals for today. One, explore more dimensions. I promised that last time, and I'm gonna make good on it. Two, resummon the Ender Dragon. If you remember, they get stronger each time you bring them back. And three, don't die. That, that last one's gonna be nearly impossible. Tr trust me, just, just keep watching. But I'm done wasting your time. Here's an arbitrary like goal that makes me put out more content because the algorithm likes it more. So let's say another 5,000 likes and we make the next one come out even faster. Also, thank you guys for liking last time. Y'all are really awesome. Okay, no more wasting your time. Day 101, begin. Also subscribe. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am using shaders. Don't get used to it. My computer sounds like a whole airport right now. I immediately found the recipe for the Godforge, and that's a lot. We're gonna wind it back a little bit right now. The dead of night, day 101, I started researching better gear, because this diamond really isn't cutting it anymore. But it's nighttime now, so I just ran around underground where I took out the last of the wither skeletons that the spawner could produce. Day 102, my plan is to get dragon armor, so I went to make fire resistance pots, or at least that was my plan, but I'm too stupid to even use a brewing stand. Why can't I use a brewing? Do I do I have a brewing ability? Cause I'm gonna fucking lose my mind if I have a brewing ability. It's okay, there's another way to get fire resistance. I've got a dick ton of gold. So we're gonna use that on the piglins and they're gonna give me, did, did, I, just, did I just hit the mirror? Son of a monkey. Okay, now back to trading for fire potions. By the end of the day, I got two of each type, but all I need is three of one type. So I'm still waiting. Oh, and this happened. Why are you holding a helmet? Why are you lagging my game? Good job. <laughs> Where'd he get a helmet? Was that one of my rewards and he just put it on himself? Is that what just happened? My man is in full gold gear. Did you, did you use my gold to make yourself gear? Is that what just happened? Did he just use my gold to make himself gear? Day 103, I finally got the final bottle of fire juice that I needed and headed home to make the charm of fire resistance. This item gives me the potion effect when you click on it for eight seconds. Then you can cheese it by spam clicking it on and off and get a ton of mileage out of it. And now that I'm immune to fire, let's go bully a lot of dragons. Yeah, we're starting the 200 days off strong. Day 104, here's me mining randomite ore that I bought with a whole stack of bronze coins. I used vein miner to mine them up quickly and now it's time to look for dragons. Day 105, this would be terrifying if I didn't have the no fall damage horseshoe. And you should all know that I have that horseshoe unless you didn't watch the first 100 days like I told you to at the beginning of this video. Go back, go watch it, go do it. We'll wait. Just do it. Okay, I'm not waiting, let's move on. Let me tell you something. 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 Because the fucking frames were so low. Man, fuck these shaders. I'm saying it right now. I'm not doing this for a million fucking days. Nightfall of day 105, I found a zombie that spawned via lightning. This is from the Apotheosis mod, and killing it, I got pants that gave me a huge health boost. That's definitely gonna help against some dragons. Day 106, I found an oceanographer that I'll probably never use, found an illager tower that I promptly went to abuse, and took all the riches to properly use. Bars! <laughs> Then I nearly died. Excuse me, what the fuck just happened? I thought at the time that I couldn't bleed to death in this game, but that's not the case. You see, I have a charm in one of my slots called the Broken Heart. The Broken Heart allows me to crack my max health down instead of taking lethal damage. I break heart containers instead. So I really am getting that close to death every time. In fact, I'm about to do it again. Oh, I have the trinket that eats my max hearts. That's what it's doing. Bleed probably does kill. Good to know. Also, this game got way fucking harder. Yeah, yeah, oh shit. As you can see, I now have a lot less hearts and everything fucking sucks. 
but at least I'm still living, right? Not for long. Even with this health decrease, I still bopped into the dragon. Next to the dragon was an illager fort, where I fucked up and did this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, my Pegasus. Unbelievable. And my hearts are looking ever so good. I even took off some of my health boosting gear and realized that I would have died if I wasn't wearing all these boosts because of how many heart containers, not hearts, heart containers that I ended up losing. This is already way more stressful and fuck you, I blame that dragon letting out all the evil and shit into the world when I killed it. It's not my fault, the dragons. Martha here. Martha's pants kind of sucked, so to make myself feel better, I beat another dragon to a pulp. I still got a few more to go. And this dragon is really close to the illager fort, so I'm going to save glory. Oh, run! Shmoog dash! Just go, just go! There's so many entities! There's so many entities! Just go, just go, just go! Where's my Pegasus? Where's my Pegasus? There she is! I'm getting bored, Yugi boy! Get on her! Go! Go, 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 leave! Bye, bitches! The next day, Glory and I found an airship. Hey, 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 you leave her alone. Glory. No! And that happened. I'm fucking pissed. Oh, you're fucking dead. Oh. Every one of those fuckers is dead. You wanna play this fucking game? I'll play this fucking game. Suck a dick. Suck a fat cock. What you gonna do, huh? Oh, spooky, scary skeletons and shivers up my dick. You took my glory from me, so I will kill you, bitch. Fuck all of you. Nah, nah, bitch. We done playing. We done playing. Come down here and fight me. Fight me, you fucking phantom bitch. Fight! You ain't fighting. You're scared. There you are. Ah, oh, it took you a while to get down here. Good to see you, fucker. Oh, you, you done did it now. You put your dick in the beehive. And I'm the bees. I'm ready to Fuck everyone up here. Ah, we just got a sub to Eclipse again, lol. Thank you for the sub to Eclipse again. That's what that, that ding was. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a second channel and someone just subscribed to it. So you should too. Shameless plug. Now, who killed my fucking Pegasus? At nighttime, things got really hard. So I sat here and hid for a bit. Um, this is awkward. Well, uh, <clears throat> while you have time, you might as well subscribe and, and hit the like button. And man, it takes forever to pass the night. So, I mean, I'm sure you can get a comment in while you're at it. Day 111, life-saving pots are coming in clutch on the airship and dropping like candy from these mobs. I got to the end after nearing death once more, because holy fuck, I'm so underpowered. And the reward was Feather Falling 7, which would be great if I wasn't already immune to fall damage. I looted more BS here. Here's some holy water. I killed another evoker and yoinked up another totem. I'm starting to have a lot of things. I got Vitae 3 in enchanted book form. Keep in mind, that'll be awesome later if it didn't have pestilence, but that's fine. It's okay, it's not a big deal. I killed another illager king and a motherfucking ice dragon in a summer biome. He was a little out of place, so now he's out of life and I'm one step closer to level six. And if we jump our happy ass over to the next day, here's the last dragon fight. I am not skilled enough to use trident. That's bullshit though. Because I promise you I am. My heart's are low and it's dead. Oh my God, and my armor's so fucking low too. And I am a level six dragon slayer. Fucking finally. You know what? We're gonna try something because it's a really far walk home. Do you come with me? Nope. And I ended the day by making some fucking dragon armor, bitch. Bitch! That will hopefully protect my little skull a bit more. And my hearts don't have to get all banished to the Shadow Realm. Day 114, and I've actually ran out of space in my inventory system, so I'm extending it. And I can practically hear everyone already begging for me to say the word, but I won't do it this time. Nope! 
I'm not gonna. You can't make me. I'm not gonna. I would. Oh, we're gonna do the gym. <sighs> you happy now? Moving on. Night 114, I skipped the blood moon somehow, and I was finally able to find the shop thanks to this comet. On the other hand, the shop fucking sucks. It barely has anything worth spending money on besides loot crates. I bought a spider necklace from one and I regret it deeply. Today I did get a new Pegasus and I promise not to kill or abandon this one. In fact, I'll even let y'all name them. Best name suggestion will be its name for the next 300 days. Someone also said my spatial sign works like a totem uh, that you preempt. Weird. 30 seconds beforehand, if you use it, you can teleport back to that exact spot that you clicked it at and live on half a heart. I, it's not the greatest, but it works. Oh, and another blood moon happened today. Lovely. But on the same subject of things the comment section yelled at me to death for, these items are from Terraria, okay? I understand. You don't have to keep posting it in my goddamn comments. Day 116 was spent looking up how to get better food, because just bread isn't cutting it, and bread is our most abundant resource. So I came up with a solution. If we throw an ender pearl at a beehive, we will teleport to the bee dimension. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. So I'm looking for a beehive today. Day 117, for some fuck off reason, there weren't any beehives, so we're just gonna make one and throw an ender pearl at it and... Oh, it worked! I'm in the bumble zone! Let's go, we're in the bumble zone! Hell yeah! I spent the day vein mining honeycomb blocks because they make honeycomb, which makes honey, which I can smatter together on bread and finally have food that will satiate my Minecraft character. A monumental task, I know. I have other stuff to do at the B dimension, just not for now. End of the day, I hopped into the nether. There's a good reason, trust me. I found myself a spawner and that means a ton of nether coins, which means a ton of netherite, which means I can make a netherite totem, which I do not know what that does, but it sounds cool. So fuck it, we ball. I also learned about the best gear in the game. Dread steel. Mark my words, we're getting dread steel. Maybe not in these 200 days, but I'ma get it or die trying. Day 119, I made all my netherite, made the totem, he looks really edgy now, and took a couple pickaxes and started breaking down my walls of my house for renovation. I've got a lot of portals that we're gonna build. Told y'all last time we're gonna check out the new modded dimensions and I meant it. So I need a portal room to store them all prettily and I'm still working on that shit day 120. Also, just don't look at these inputs. Look, I, I promise I'm good at this game. I promise you have to believe me. <laughs> I do not. Beginning of day 121, I ended up finishing the main bit of the room. Then I took the other nether juice from my dungeon I live under and had to dig down. For whatever reason, you can only use nether, you can only place all that, that portal stuff at, the, at Y12 or under. Is that an undead army? Oh, fuck. I placed the portal and went back up to get my ass handed to me. This game has gotten much more difficult. And oh, would you look at that? A fucking blood moon at the same time. All right, scratch that. Everything's gotten much, much, much more difficult. One of the worst things that has happened since we unleashed the evil is that skeletons now have a chance to spawn as elite skeletons. And they just don't miss, like ever. But nearly bleeding to death from arrows has brought me to level 49 endurance. So there's that. Why are they all fucking bosses now? Why are they all bosses now? Fuck that. Lock the doors and close your blinds. We're going for a ride. Oh my God, I have to eat one. Oh my God, my first ever enchanted gapple. I had to eat or else I'd bleed to death. Oh my God. I got friends in low places. Where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. You have the fucking ultimate axe. Like, like the one that I just marked to get at the end of the game? That's the weapon you were wielding? The axe of the executioner? Fuck you. It took two days, but I beat the wave and won an iron coin, which I used to get a dog. And I want to name that dog. I'm just gonna pass that off to you guys too. Let me know what we should name the dog in the comments below. That's right, interaction. Yeah, algorithm gods. Finally, after three days of fighting, I can go back to the shit that I was doing before and open up the Twilight Forest. I 
then snagged a zeal lighter, lit two other portals, bringing our total to four, and chose the twilight forest to be the first place that I explore. I know it the most, it should be the easiest. Day 125, I'm in the twilight forest, and I've done this mod tons of times, like I just said, in other videos. You can go watch those if you want a more in-depth look at the twilight forest, but for our sake, in this 200 days, I'm just gonna kill every boss as fast as possible. Welcome to the Twilight Forest Boss Rush. The first up is the Naga. I fought you in no effort, and now it's time to fight you in this series. 500 health, huh? Can I hit this fucker? His tongue is too long. He's too long. He's too long. I get it stuck. Ah, he's not stuck. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, and that gives me power of light. Nice. Jesus Christ. Killing the Naga granted me the Strength Bracelet and access to the Lich King. Day 126, I found the Torch Berries and made a map of the Twilight Forest with them, and Raven Feathers so I can now know where all the bosses are. Here's the castle, and everything immediately goes to shit. I used blocks to climb up the tower the wrong way, because there was a lot of death inside the tower, and broke my way into the Lich King fight. And I kicked its ass. There he is. Oh shit. If you had a brain, you'd be dangerous. Guess it pays to be brainless. Yeah! That was sick! Get Fucked, bitch! Ah! Uh, that has to be the fastest I've ever killed the fucking Twilight Lich. Day 127, another day, another boss. And I'm going for the one that I hate the most. They're inside a forest where everything's pitch fucking black, and their dungeon is a fucking maze. Can we just talk about that for a second? I am so tired of all the custom Minecraft dungeons being fucking mazes. It's like 70% of the dungeons from mods are all mazes. Don't believe me? I'll point it out to you every time we enter one, and you'll see. You'll see. Oh, and just so we have it on the record, I hate mazes. Like, loathe them. Day 128, and I'm still looking in this maze. And day 129, I found the boss. But my shit's about to break, so I marked it and had to run all the way back to my base, which is fancy talk for right-click the mirror button. While I'm home, though, I finished a lot of quests. Used a diamond coin, bought a villager, one more, and I'll have a jump start in a trading hall. And now, we're gonna go back to kill the boss. Remember, boss rush. Rush is in the name, we gotta be fast. Day 130, and here's the fight. All right, Donger Purr, it's time for you to shine. Kill the one with a lot of fucking health. Kill the champion first. Yeah, y'all can, can quit that. Y'all can quit that right to hell now. Kill the boss one first. Okay, scratch that. Kill the ones that are coming at my face first. What did he say? Do they die in one hit? Is this, is this what I was scared of last night? Is this uh, a brand new recording session and I was scared of this shit? Re really? That's it. That's all you had. That's the strength that you had. That's what you could give me. I got a silk touch pick for my reward and I think I overhyped this boss a little because it was incredibly easy. Anyways, next up is the Yergast. Just like all the other towers, I just built my way up and explored as little as I could. Then I clicked the fucking mirror. No! Not a I fucking love hate this mirror so much. Fuck! I clicked the wrong button. Mirror bullshit. 
and then I hit the keys a lot. That's the note. That's the, that's the thing. That's the timestamp. Fuck! If I had a nickel for every time I accidentally hit this thing, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Back at the ear guest, and the fight went like this. Keep in mind, it's very loud, and I apologize. We'll move fast. I mean, I'm about to kick his ass so I can understand the upsetness. I'm not even gonna fight the boss the way you're supposed to. I'm just gonna fight him like this. He seems so upset. He's crying now. I feel bad. I'm sorry, ear guest. But I have to beat you up like this. Kind of not taking a lot of damage. All right, I think we got. I think we got to fight him the right way. Come here. He's so loud. You can't hear anything over the ear gas. Does no one balance his audio? Fucking ever. But this is how you fight the boss. You step on this. Like, just a lot of them for this fight. There it is. Okay, the ear gas gains back health over time. This is really a lot. Oh! Found the juice! Have a low key. Actual chaos. There are so many little gas babies! Step on the pressure plate! It, it missed them. Like, there's no way around that. It, I 100% missed. Can you just stop? Oh, this will work. Don't press the button. Shit, fuck you, game. I win. I got the boss deaded and stole its loot, then ran off to the tundra of the Twilight Forest. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I didn't know that we were gaining for killing those guys. We were getting life-saving potions. And this is 33, not 20 fucking five. Hell yeah. Ooh. Kill it! Fucking kill it! End this life! End it! Die! Give me all your shit! Bye! That'll work! I just ran in blindly and I can't fucking believe that worked. The next day I'm running deeper into the snow. I'm looking for the ice caps in the middle of that biome. In the middle of that is the Snow Queen's domain. It's also made out of the prettiest blocks. I might have to come back and steal those for a build one day. I found one thing I was looking for though, the ice bow, and then fought the queen. Ugh. Come on, bitch. Oh, you fucked it. Oh, you ruined it, Snow Queen. You, you destroyed yourself. Told y'all I wasn't fucking around. This is a boss rush, and there's only two to go. Day 133, and here's the Mino Shroom Dungeon. Can you guess what the layout is? Yep, it's a fucking maze. But there's a problem. You see, this dungeon has a mob, a pinch beetle to be specific. And if it grabs you, it won't let go till you kill it. And all the mobs are buffed in this mod. You see where I'm going? If it grabs me, it'll fuck me up till I'm dead, and there won't be anything I'm able to do about it. For example, um, and now I have no hearts again, but I'm so close to the boss. So fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Him. 
Oh my god, that was paralysis. He got fucking paralyzed. Killing the Miner Shroom gives me Meef Stroganoff, and eating that unlocks the final boss in this rush, the Hydra. I gotta get closer to you. This guy's dumb. That one's not very smart. Come on, Hydra. I hit you for like a heart. Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, no one thought this through, did they? The only way to hit the Hydra is with its own fucking fireballs. You gave it that much health? No one thought this through, did they? This is going to take years. Ah, EQ. So Thomas even. Thomas is editing this. I'll be in. I'll be on vacation. Thomas, put this bitch on speed up. Okay, that's not our source of food. Fuck that. That fight was a lot closer than I will ever be comfortable with, but we fucking won. And that's almost all of the Twilight Forest. There's one thing we gotta do. Day 136, I'm back at my base and taking a nap, which gave me three hearts back. Great. That is so little. Since I had dick all for hearts, I spent the day hiding at my base as to not get absolutely screwed out of my last totem. And while I was here, I made a bow upgrade since my cracked out one now costs too much to fix in the anvil. I made a golden bow, but this golden bow is special. I tricked this thing out with a spec that makes whenever I shoot an arrow, it'll teleport me wherever that arrow lands like an ender pearl. And I'll need this for the final bit of the Twilight Forest. Day 137, I'm in the final biome and building up to this gigantic cloud with a giant version of myself that wanna fuck me. Nah, I've seen weirder. I killed one and took their pickaxe. Then I burrowed underground and this happened. Oh my God, that's a lot of enemies. There's the vault! Go! And I still don't have a lot of hearts. In fact, I think I just lost some because of that. Great. We really need to do like some base building or something. Just, just saying. Just, we need a day that's not adventuring into death. We need a day that's not this. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out there. I dug into the vault, stole the lamp of cinders because that makes the acid rain just stop on the final castle. I shot my way up there and got ready for the real final boss. Ha, gotcha. There's another one, the, the UN sign. For some reason, right, hear me out. The devs of the Twilight Forest just never end this mod pack. They, there's one boss left, they never made it and there's never gonna be a final boss. A little anticlimactic, but hey, we're done with the Twilight Forest and I've been getting a lot of endurance. So now I'm like level 51 or 52. I know that's not a lot of endurance, as you will see later, but let me have this, okay? Let me be happy that the bar is going up. Day 138, and full disclosure, when I'm not using footage for the video, I'm just bored half the time, so I listen to music. And at this point in time, I'm listening to Eminem's Godzilla. And I just had to flex. There's no reason this should go in the video. It's just me showing off. Man, stop! Oh, 
I'll put that in the 100 days. After what you just listened to, I found this place and let me tell you, I should have turned around and hightailed it out of there immediately, like yesterday. Like I should have been gone before, but instead I jumped right in. Also, jump scare warning. Oh! Ah! These enemies actually do a lot of damage, and once again, I should have just left. Then this happened. Fuck! Then I should have left again, but... Oh dear. Okay. Fine, I get the hint. I hit the mirror and fucked off. Day 140 and we are dropped down to two totems and that won't do. So I use nether coins to make netherite and trade it with our piglin, miner friend, to get a couple more totems. Woke up the next day with a sad amount of health back. That's bullshit. Well, I'm clearly gonna die if I go anywhere. So for now we're stuck at home, but I'm gonna make the best of it. I went to the B dimension, grabbed a fuck ton, uh, and I mean a fuck ton of honeycomb because I can vein mine it and it's really easy to get. Then the next three days, I built a honey wall around my base. I needed about 30 stacks of B blocks to make this wall of defense, but now nothing will get into my base. <laughs> nothing, nothing will get into my base. Absolutely nothing, I'm sure of it. I also chopped the trees and lit the base with torches so I can have a safe haven when my health is this low. This took till the end of day 145. Day 146, you remember that zombie with the ax of the executioner? Well, I do, and it got me thinking. I wanted some gear upgrades, and we're gonna chat about that for a second. To upgrade my gear any further, we would use Minecraft's own netherite. But I need a level 60 endurance, and I'm at 52. Boo, you stink! That's nowhere near it, so I need to grind for endurance. Well, everywhere wants to be dead, so the best strat would honestly be the DFMBT. Yeah, I bet you thought I'd forgotten about the dumb fuck magma block trick. Nope. But for it to work good, I need passive regen. To get that, I would need a beacon. And that means it's time to kill the wither, which wraps back around to the axe of the executioner. It makes bitches lose their heads, literally. I had one wither skull that I collected in the previous 100 days, so I made the axe and got to work. Ooh, he just whipped out a fucking thing. My man had that shit on him. Okay. What was that? It, that was, he pulled out a red and black bow and just fucked me. As you can see, it's going really well. Fuck you. I went to bed and gave up on the skulls today. Challenge complete, yay, but still no skulls. Luck be my lady tonight though. I found two skulls in a piglin structure, just sitting like scarecrows. So now I just need one. Please give me your skull. Yes, that worked. I just said, please. It's the magic word. It gives you everything you want. One, two, die. I gotta fight the wither now. Day 150, I had to sit back and prep my ass off. If the normal enemies kick my shit in, then who knows what this thing can do. I made my bow have explosive arrows and made a ton of those. Then I made the worst mistake of this video. Genuinely, the worst mistake in this 200 days is right here. All right, let's go. Oh, fuck. It's got a, it's, it's a boss. Oh shit.
Because if it wasn't hard enough before, it's now 20% more difficult in this game. But wonderful, I, I can make a fucking beacon. Yay. First off, what the fuck was that fight? The Wither's got new tricks up its sleeves. Second, remember whenever I said it was the worst mistake? Yeah, it's not because of the fight. It's because of what happens when you win. Expert mode? The game is now 20% more difficult that stacks on the 20% that the dragon did. So now things are 40% harder and gain another 20% boost at night. Oh, I'm so dead. We need netherite gear like now, like yesterday. Day 151, I'm building a beacon because we need to be strong enough to wear that netherite armor. I was running really low on beacon blocks though and you need 164 to get a full beacon. So for now, I had to steal from the 69 sign. Don't worry, I'll put it back, eventually. I even scrapped up all my coins to make sure that I had enough iron and gold, but it still came up short. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Oh, that's what I wanted. I was almost a full level of endurance. Nice, 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 nice. Day 152, I'm running for skeletons, spiders, creepers, and zombies to fuck up, i.e. a dungeon. I came across spawners that were just above ground, weird. Oh, and nearly died to a bee. I love the way, I love the way, I love the way you- Ah, uh, trans bee's gonna kill me! Irony! Day 153, and you know I can't be going anywhere in this game without nearly dying. Look, if no one's gonna say it, I will. This 200 days would have ended a long time ago if it wasn't for the broken heart bobble. I hate it to death because all it does is break my hearts, but I guess it's really a curse and a blessing. Later on in the day, though, it would be put to the test because all hell broke loose. No! No, 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 no. Bad. Problems. No, 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 no! This fucking sucks! Okay. Found where they're coming from. They're coming from there. We have walls, we have walls, it's fine. We have walls, they can't do shit. Legendary! No, thank you! Day 154, and I've now put together that these guys are also 40% stronger because of the weather. And there are more waves now. Fuck me sideways with a paddle. Stress! How did you get in? Be careful, you've been pretty naughty! Not right now, it's not the time! Christmas spirit, I need you to Christmas chill! How are you still move? You're hasty. That's a problem. Oh, thank God my archery leveled up. What would I have done had it not? Okay, got him. I even got a monster coin for that. Loud environment. I am the loud environment, watch. No, 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 no. You did not just do that. You did not just pull me fucking to you. That's not something that I'm going to allow to have happen. Haha! -ha! My walls are made of honey, which means I can move them slightly. You are what they call a bitch. On me? On top of me? The, the what? They don't just get to spawn on top of me. Fuck off! That's so many! And we're only halfway through the night. How wonderful. And I'm starving to death. And I'm on the naughty list. God fucking damn it. Don't die. Just don't die. Just don't die. Ah! Got him. What just fucking exploded? And does anyone care to explain why? That's an illegal. Oh no, it's not. He's just... What? Why are you exploding? You don't have an explosion attribute. You have dampening with... Why am I exploding? His bow has explosion! His fucking bow is explosion. That's what it is. Oh my god. Go. 
Jesus Christ! I'm going in this side of the water. That's right, bitch. Why did they make that sound? And they still spawned in my base. This fucking sucks. Oh, 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 Harry Potter. Harry Potter in this chamber of cum. Stress? That dude's a fucking champion, elite skeleton. This is not happening. You are the scariest being I've ever seen. Come here. Die. You fucking poop out a million items. I need a fucking better backpack. Mm-hmm. 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 Getting spicy. Mm-hmm. Spicy. Oh, uh, the sun's going down. I just realized how awful that is for me. They will no longer burn. And that is an elite skeleton with 240 health. And an explosion bow! Cause of fucking course it is! Oh my god, look at all the stuff on me right now. I have to say, the undead army became way, way more intense. And honestly, I kinda love it. This is cool as shit. Victory! Oh, I won! I won the fucking thing! Yes! I didn't die! Oh my god! Oh my god! Day 155, I've exhausted so many dragon scales for armor, all my food, all my hearts. So, drop everything, we need level 60 endurance. Meaning I need to build that beacon right now. I'm in the B dimension making more honey bread. Then I'm at the pillager base because killing enough pillagers and vindicators will help me level up. Plus it gives me gems for the beacon. It's risky, but it's gotta work. I have totems if things get bad, but I really need this beacon. He hit me with like a slowness arrow? At this point, I don't even care. It happens every couple minutes at this point. Near death, near death, near death, whatever. But I did make my beacon. I finally had enough riches to make it. And here we go with the bullshit waiting game. The beacon gives me resistance and regen, and that will help us with the DFMBT. But it is by no means fast, but it gets the job done. Luckily, you're watching a YouTube video, and I can just do this. Thomas, cut this out! Thanks, man. Real lifesaver. This took up to day 162, and then I got impatient. But I did get to level 58 in endurance, just so close to 60. But I've been doing this for far too long, and I'm not gonna waste these 200 days. So let's get our endurance training in a bit more of a fun way, shall we? I'm constructing portal number five today and lighting it with a bunch of iron, gold, and diamonds shoved together. Welcome to the Undergarden. Now there's only one type of dungeon in this dimension, so it might take me a while to find- And there it is. Wow. We are now in the Forgotten Halls, and everything is very set on murdering my entire being. I even had to use the magic mirror here or I'd be completely screwed, and I really don't want to die in this dungeon. Or at all, for that matter. I'm in hardcore. Don't say daddy, I'm not that. Birth control, <laughs> excuse me? What? I'm not your father! No, stop saying daddy! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it! That is way more unsettling than if you just didn't say anything. It took all day, but I did find what I was looking for. There's one! There's one! Oh, yeah. He breaks blocks! He's immune to arrows! I did manage to kill it because it jumped into this pit of goo and I bopped it to death. When it died, it dropped these forgotten nuggets, which I need to get our next weapon and tool upgrade. But I gotta kill one more of these guys to get them, so here we go. Louis V carpet, fire, Godzilla fire, monster blood on the dance floor in Louis V carpet. Godzilla is not helping right now. Bitch, I'm a player. I'm too motherfucking stingy for share. Won't even lend you an ear or even pretend to care. Oh, they drop way more now. Woo! Afterwards, I went home and made my ingots. Then used the clogarum. That's how you say that, I really hope it is. I kept looting and combined it with a smithing table to make the forgotten sword. Now, let's deck the shit out. So let's chat about this sword for a second. 
First off, why the fuck did no one tell me I picked up Vorpal 3 as a book enchant? If you don't know mod of Minecraft like me, and you actually have a life outside of block game, I'll explain. Vorpal has a chance to multiply the shit out of your damage when you swing, and that makes the bosses with hundreds and thousands of HP points actually possible to beat. I obviously need that. I also got one man army, which makes my sword hit harder with the more enemies there are to fight. This is rad too, so there's always more enemies to fight. <clears throat> Undead army. <clears throat> Rogue. And I got a couple of other enchants just to help the sword along. Now that we have that sword, it's time to get the rest of the XP to get to level 60 in endurance. I used that purple flurp I found in the undergarden and tried to grind with that, but the food that I was eating made me immune to the purple flurp poison, so that's not gonna work. Back in the undergarden I go though, cause the forgotten sword does double damage. That along with Vorpal, and we're set. And it was then when I found a chest with teeth. This is a mimic, get it? It mimics the look of a chest and then eats your ass. But the most important thing is that it gives a fuck ton of XP when you finish the quest for it. And I wanna put all of that into endurance. I also found more forgotten halls, bought the shit out of another golem, cause why not? I might need another sword or pickaxe or something. Then I killed this mob. Terrible person! You killed an innocent sink. Dude, nothing else in this fucking game has been innocent. So fuck you. I am not a terrible person. I am just cautious. Day 167, I found a big hunk of rock and he did this. Whoa, that's a big boy. That's a really big boy. I just eviscerated a totem. He just decided it was gone. He just decided it was really time that there was no more totem in my life. Which means he did enough damage to break all my heart containers in one go as well. Day 168 and I'm so close. So fucking close to level 60 endurance. I'm trying to kill piglins in the same bastion I nearly died in back in the first 100 days. But of course, this place is too dangerous and I'm throwing away totems at this point. Watch. Fuck! Fuck! I didn't see his blue sparkles of fucketry. I did not see his blue sparkles of fucketry. Fucking, there's a lot of boys! There are a substantial amount of homies. It's okay, I can get totems back with nether coins and nether right. But what I didn't notice was that this fucker broke my chest plate. Guess who's back to the DFMBTFY? Dad fossils, mom's burnt tush, fuck you! <sighs> Give it in, Thomas. Give it in. Day 170, I'm mere inches away from Endurance 60. And then, at the end of the day, I did it. Level 60. Level fucking 60. I can now officially wear netherite. Now I'm gonna spend the next couple days getting strong gear so we stop popping totems like bubble wrap at a quinceanera. Look it up. Oh cool, quest completed, netherite. Go fuck yourself. Day 171, I'm breaking down the beacon because I don't need it anymore, which of course means yes, I'm fixing the 69 sign. I told you it wouldn't be that long. I'm still working on that gear though. Once it's done, I'll tell you all about it. Just be patient. One big thing to note though is that I freaked out over this enchant. Oh, wee wa wee woo wee woo wee woo Ender's eyes. Oh, the Ender's eyes enchant. Endermen are no longer aggro. Day 172, I got the cover me in debris achievement. And day 173, I'm almost cracked out. I've had to run back to the nether and get tons of experience from nether coins to make sure I could enchant all this, but here we are. Listen up, cause this is all important. <clears throat> and I'm doing this off rip, N improv, no script. Let's see if I can do it. My helmet. I have Unbreaking 3, Proc 3, Respiration 3, and Gourmand 2, which means my food is better. That with the Ender Eyes that you just saw, uh, means that I don't, don't, I, I don't get hurt by the Enderman no more. That's awesome. I also have Boosted 3, which gives me just more XP. Sage's Blessing, which gives me more XP. And I'm set. My chest plate. I have Proc 4, Unbreaking 3, Berserk's Fury 2, and that means when my health is low, my damage is up. I have Death Barter, which means I can use money to not die. That'll be great when we get emeralds. Vitality, which just gives me more health. And Reach, which gives me more reach. Self-explanatory. My leggings, brand new leggings. Proc 4, Unbreaking 3, and Multi-Roll, which gives me more dodges. I don't know what that, that means. 
but I, I have more dodges. I'm also lightweight, faster. Uh, I get Sage's Blessing, which is more XP. You can see where this is going. And finally, Proc 3, Vitae 2, more health, of course, Unbreaking 3, and Feather Falling. It's kind of useless, but those are my boots. Did I do good? I'm gonna hope that was good. So there you go, that's our gear. Oh, and it's also a Blood Moon, so what a perfect time to try it out. I stayed out all night fighting the Blood Moon for the mob quests and to see if my gear could handle it. And I kicked major ass. Only problem was my gear takes a ton of hits. Notice how I didn't say mending when I listed all the gear enchants? That's because we can't get mending just yet. But by the end of this video, mark my words, it will have mending or die. I could always just die. That's also possible. But I will get mending or die. Soon you will see, so pay up, motherfucker, you belong to V. I can corrupt, manipulate, control what you see. I forgot I'm I'm basically Jesus now. I, I, I totally fucking forgot I'm Jesus. Day 174, I found a temple, stole all the riches, found another temple, stole all its- Ah, silverfish! Oh god, no, 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 bad, 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 bad. And now bears just fall out of the fucking sky, because of course they do. Hey, comment section, call to action here. Can any of you tell me what the hell the Keystone of Oblivion does? I know it's probably a Terraria item at this point, but I still have no clue what its purpose is, even after reading the four paragraph manual it comes with. Day 176, shifting gears a little bit, and we're preparing to go to the end. Yes, you remember how that went last time I was there. Thomas, show a quick flashback. I've already pissed off a goddamn Enderman. What, what? New feature, new feature, new feature, new feature. You piss off one, you piss off all. Well, this time I intend for it to be better. I have Ender Eyes, so as long as I don't swing at the Enderman, we shouldn't die. My gear is much higher quality for everything except mending. Oh, and did I mention, this is where mending is. You can only get mending with stuff from the end, so we gotta go here. I made an Enderite totem of Undying, which will save me from the void, because I have yet to get Elytra. And by the end of the day, I went to sleep, so I could be refreshed for what was to come. I jumped the gun a bit, though, and ran off to the stronghold. Then I stopped myself, because I don't have a good pick. Sure, I've got a diamond one, but what if something stronger than obsidian? This is mod in Minecraft. That shit happens all the time. So I made a forgotten pick, decked it out with enchants, even got fortune three, range three, fortune three, efficiency four, sage's blessing five, unbreaking three, and death sodium, which no one cares about. Now this pickaxe kind of sucks. 286 durability? That's kind of cringe. Let me show you how we make it uncringe. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm not level 60 in gathering, fuck! I can't use, I just, I can't, I can't use the pickaxe I just made. I can't, I can't use the, I can't use the pickaxe I just made. I can't use the, I can't. I fucking hate Project MMO! I'll be right back. Chopping trees with vein miner is by far the most boring yet efficient way to get gathering up fast. So Thomas, cut this part out for me. Okay. And day 183, we are back at the stronghold. I bought a waystone and put it near the portal so we don't have to dig down or God forbid, go through the maze that is the stronghold again. And day 184, we are free. In the end, the Endermen don't kill me or want me dead. This is fantastic. I can finally get around in this place safely and then I fell and died. Just fucking with you. Wanted to make sure you were paying attention. I told you that my totem saves me from falling, dummy. It doesn't break your totem like I thought it would. I'm, um... I think I'm invincible to fall damage. And I can't die from the void. Meaning there is no negative to me just going through the end like this. And ladies and gentlemen, I have found cheese. Cheese? I did find a dungeon that, say it with me now, is a fucking maze, and it had some good stuff in the chests. But the most important thing is this map. It says it's gonna lead to some type of end city type dungeon. I don't know if it's modded or not, but I've got a feeling that's gonna be my best bet at getting Elytra, so off we go. Day 186, I'm still looking, but I got these rose crystal blocks that will be important, so I picked them up. Day 187, same story, found nothing, but if we jump to day 188, Ooh, there's two ways to go. I could go in this dungeon, which I know to possibly have Elytra, or I can go in that thing. Which I don't even know what that is. 
It looks like a souped up N city. I found him. I went to the fucking maze one first, and it was bisected by another goddamn maze. Are you shitting me? Nope, nope, screw this. I'm going to the better dungeon. So we went off to the other dungeon, and oh my god, it's so much better. Elytra! Oh, ha, oh, oh, it's, ah, oh, got it. I mean, it's kind of a little broken, but nothing a little phantom membrane can't fix. Fortune three. Oh my god, the loot in end cities is nuts. I wonder if it's because there's a thousand fucking chokers in here. Drown belt, hunter belt, leather belt, a blessing of the moon. Each attack with a 15% chance can summon a falling star that deals 200% of the original damage, works only at night. <laughs> Excuse me? What did I just read? Requiem. Absorb souls of defeated mobs in the amount of 25% of their maximum health. Increases the wearer's damage dealt by 0.1% for each soul consumed. Yes, please. <laughs> And mending elytra. No fucking way. I'm not done. I gotta unmute again. I gotta fucking keep that in too. I hate when they teleport on their last fucking hit. Is that a scale? No, is that dead ass a scale down there? What? No, it's a fucking dragon egg. What? I finally got one? And not from where I thought I did? Or wood? Real shit, I have no idea why that crystal dropped the dragon egg, but yeah, okay, sure. I even got Ethereum, and that will be useful in 300 days. Wink, wink. Subscribe, hit the like button, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Or maybe I'll just die, and then it just ends here. Who knows? That's always the gamble. After I looted the bottom, I started heading up the tower to see what I could find. And look at how pretty this fucking place is. Someone make this a wallpaper. I'm getting distracted though, and as pretty as this place is, it's also deadly. I can't be having that. These shulkers were turned invisible, so they were harder to find. Woo! Nope, nope, I'll pass. <laughs> that was a lot of TNT. And I don't know what happened, but that caused my game to crash. The game crashed whilst ticking entity. Error java.lang. No class D found error. Zero map controls key events. So opening my map broke the game. Let's hope that doesn't happen again at a more detrimental time. <laughs> that'd be that'd be bad if that happened. That would just, keep watching, keep watching the video. Just keep watching. Day 191, I'm in this beautiful sulfur springs biome and I'm getting petals. These are special. And afterwards I went home. Made my best set of elytra wings that I could with mending, unbreaking, and an enchanted book I had called Iron Bird, which gives me yet another buff on defense. And yet everything still somehow nearly kills me. Man, this mod is brutal. I'm in the nether later in the day, and I'm getting a hundred piglins killed because I'm running out of days and I really need to get to endurance level 65. That's right, 65, not 60. We're not good enough right now to resummon the now buffed dragon. Day 192, I'm still brutalizing all the piglins, and now that I've got 100 killed, I'm at level 62 in endurance. But I'm gaining XP so slowly. There's no way I'm gonna get three more levels in time though. Unless. Oh baby, it gives fucking so much! What? What? Huh? I know what I must do. Day 193, I'm running through all these frozen biomes because they seem to be the best place to find mimics that spawn and I need 10. This mimic even dropped me night vision goggles so no one can now complain that the caves are too fucking dark. You're welcome. This mimic dropped a crystal heart which gave me another heart, fuck yeah. And this mimic gave me claws that permanently upped my attack speed. And I got all the mimics today except one. And I cannot find him for the life of me. Mimic, one more mimic, that's all I need. I will leave, I will go away, I will fuck off for all eternity, just give me a mimic. Yeah, dude, just fuck it. I didn't have things to do today. I wanted to look for a mimic for 40 hours. I don't have like a, a dragon to resummon and kill again, or mending books to make from an infusion altar. No, I just wanted to do just this. At the end of the day though, I did find it. <gasps> it is a mimic. Yes! <laughs> that took all of day 190 fucking four. It's time for the reward. It's time for the reward. How, what the fuck are you even doing here? And that brings me to 65 levels of endurance. Day 195, an undead army tried to spawn, but since I was away at a village at the time, I just don't have to worry about this guy. 
and instead I can make Featherite, my Netherite upgrade and final gear for this 200 days. Featherite is like Netherite, but your immune to levitation effect, thank God, can walk on water and lava, get a double jump, and that meshes with my Elytra super well, so it lets me double jump while flying. Fuck yeah. Day 196, I haven't really been keeping track since all my containers are usually broken, but I've been trying to save up for the finale for the dragon fight, and I now have 26 and a half hearts. Just thought I'd let you know that, because I didn't even know. Then it's time for the infusing pedestal. Remember the promise I made to you guys about mending? Well, with the infusion pedestal, crystal shards, and those petals that I keep finding, we can make with an anvil, XP bottles, and lapis, mending. Now, finally, we have mending, featherite, a fortune three pick. It's time for the final upgrade. Obviously, the sword. Using the Ethereum and diamonds, I made the Ethereum sword, but unfortunately, I couldn't get Vorpal on it. And it's got Curse of Pestilence Odium, which threatened to kill my dog. So it's gonna be retired for now. Maybe that's a 300 days project. Who knows? Make sure you hit the like button so we can find out. Oh, and if you made it this far in the video, I'm sure you liked it, so subscribe. I got tons of more stuff coming and we're closing in on the big 100K. So help me out and let's finish this shit. Day 198, I'm upgrading my gold bow as it's my new bow. Didn't get infinity, but I can get that later with the infusion pedestal. Day 199, and finally I made red runes to make my gear glow a beautiful crimson because it looks so basic with the normal enchant color. The game was not a fan of this, however, because it crashed. And normally I wouldn't be phased, but this crash is detrimental to this 200 days. I'm on day 199, and when I loaded this back up, my helmet was gone. All my stuff was unruined. So I hope you can forgive me for going into creative to fix that, because that's some bullshit. If you're mad about it, yell at me in the comments, I don't care. That's not all the crash did though. For whatever reason, it made the game practically unplayable. It would now freeze for like 30 seconds every 30 seconds. And after relaunching the game over and over, I thought the only solution would be reset my PC and re-download CurseForge. But I was so, so close to the end, literally seconds from resummoning the dragon with those crystals, gas tears, and glass, so... I said, fuck it, we ball. Yeah, you, uh, your building just up. You made them taller. That just seems like that's cheating. That's just, a, that's cheating. You're just cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating, dragon. All right. I am now the reviver. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, I know it means that she's back. I get that concept. Good to see you again, dragon. Been a bit. It's been a whole hundred days. How the fuck am I getting up there? I mean, I do have a lot of jumps. That'll work. That'll work. That'll also work. And I could probably get that one. Hey. I don't think this is how the pillars are supposed to work. Bop. All right. Do you have any more crystals? You do. Ooh. Hey, that dragon fireball hurts a bit more than uh than I remember. That hurts a bit more than I remember. All right, you got no crystals, bitch. Let's dance. I also hurt a bit more than you remember. I just need the dragon dead and the video can be done. I just need it to go kablooey. And then I can figure out what's wrong with this and fix it. It's probably just a computer restart, but I'm too stubborn. We are at the end here. Let me win. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I like what just happened there. That was good. I don't know what it was. It was great though. That was wonderful. Oh yeah, uh, shh. Ender Dragon, she spawns fucking shulkers now. I'm immune to levitation, so I don't know what the hell she thinks she's doing with them. Come on, bitch. Okay, well those are annoying. I will admit, 
The Endermites are really annoying. <laughs> that Enderling to the left, he's just in the sky now. Oh, and I'm blind and it's frozen. Fuck this shit, dude. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, no, I like it. Okay, I'm literally, this is unplayable. This is literally unplayable. Please die. Please die, you laggy dragon. I need you to go kablooey. I need you to go kablooey really bad. Because you cheated. You definitely cheated. You, you turn the, the, the dragon starts losing, flips on the lag switch like a, like a sore loser. I fucking hate that I get blindness. All right, all right, she's perching. She's perching. Let's end this. Let's end this. You just, you can't just perch for a second. You can't just perch for one fucking second and then big dip. Where even are you? No, legit. Where the fuck the dragon go? Huh? Huh? My dragon left. Oh, there she is. Don't you make another crystal, you stupid bitch. That one's really high up. Luckily, I'm fucking awesome now. I am, I'm fucking awesome at this now. Why are you playing Minecraft music? You can't hide it in Obsidian. I keep telling you that's cheating. I keep telling you that's cheating. Oh, good. Great. I need Minecraft music and I need the game to crash. This is wonderful. This is so great. <laughs> what? How is that fucking even remotely okay? You wanted to make this interesting, I guess. Let's make it interesting. Let's make it the fuck interesting. Fuck you! Fuck you and your lag switch! Thank you all so much for watching! Enjoy! I'm fucking out! I'm fucking out, bitch! Wait, that's a lot of XP! Hold on, one second. Just give me a sec. Just hold on. Just this is important. Just wait. Fuck you, I'm done.